Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Today we are going to work on something new. Yes, we are going to do a Steve Kites or Steve Kites uh, uh, tree farm. Uh, I already did one, but my cart disappeared, so I'm starting to build up materials to try something that I wear upon the internet. I left it really close to my chunk loader, but I don't know, I read that sometimes wisps or lightning might strip, might strip it and then it gets lost, so I have to start over, all over again. So, for Steve's cards, we need something, some really simple things for my card at least. We will need a hoe, and we are going to go with the standard hoe, and it's really simple, it's just some iron, and some iron gears, which are also simple, which I'm just about to build now. So I believe I have some iron right here. Standard. I believe I have some iron units around here. Maybe not. I guess I have to make them. So. Okay, iron. Here it is. Okay, so now I need some sticks. So like this to make the wheels. So I have two wheels here, here wheel and a couple of these. And now we have a standard thing. Now apart from the hole, we'll need some Extras. We will need some engines. If you type in more, we go straight to the Steve Scott's thing. So, 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 so first we will need a wood cutter. And for the wood cutter, oh, ouch. we need a lot of diamonds. We need five diamonds, which I don't believe we have. So I guess I have to go grab some. I just check. We don't have enough diamonds, so I'll be right back. I'll just go grab some diamonds and make some here. I have some coal in my in my house. I'll make the diamonds and I'll be right back. Hello, welcome back. I just finished my diamonds. I used my I used our, our diamond factory, which is a really simple setup. Well, we have a macerator that makes coal dust, and then. Uh, oh, this is weird. This is really weird. Okay. Well, it makes coal dust, which fills this auto crafting table, and which should make coal walls, which then get comp compressed into compressed coal walls, and out of this auto crafting table comes a coal chunk. And this cold chunk goes into the compressor, and in the end, you get diamonds. It takes a long time, and it eats up a lot of uh, coal, but it does the job. It's nice. And I don't have the slightest idea why this isn't working. But, well, this is really, really good. Yeah. Still, as I was saying, I'm doing. Steve's cart uh, tree farm, and we already did the standard hole, and the rest of the stuff we need, I have it almost ready. So first, we will need a coal engine because we want uh, our our cart to work with coal. We will also need a solar engine. And this, these are really easy things to make. So I forgot to explain the coal engine. This is all pistons and furnace and iron ingots. For the solar engine, we need a few more complicated parts, which are also simple. The solar panels are like this. It's a really simple setup. And the advanced PCB, like this is a bit more complicated, but still really easy. Next up, we will need some side sheds so that our, our train or our car has some inventory. And we also need some fertilizer module. This is something that we attach, we can add some 
some bones to make bone meal and it will fertilize it easily. It won't be an instant growth, but it will grow faster. And since you cannot add anything after the cart is built, it's best to have it than not to have it. And uh, the last but most important part is the woodcutter. And it's built like this. And for each saw blade, we need two iron ingots and one diamond. And that's why I went to grab the diamond. So, we need 10 iron ingots. Which I'm not completely sure that we have here. Yes, we have. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And these. Okay. Yeah. And we will also need an advanced PCD. Which I'm going to do right now. So, we will need two gold ingots. Which, if I'm lucky, no, I forgot it, maybe. Ah, damn it. Okay, I'm going to grab it. So, we need two iron ingots. I was also doing some glass here because I need it for my buildings. So, here comes the gold. One gold and two gold. Okay, two gold ingots. And so, two gold ingots in the middle. You will also need four, eight, yeah. And eight, so eight iron ingots and eight redstone. So I need a little bit right here, so like this and so like this we get two simple PCDs. Then we strip them up like this. We need three more of those iron ingots, so one, two, three, and four of these. Three, four. Okay. All we have to do is place these two in the middle and the redstone on the corners and we have an advanced PCD. And to end this one, the woodcutter, we will need some saplings which I left at home. So I'm going to take these with me. I'm also going to grab my glass. And I'm going to check once again on the, on the diamond table because this is really good. I don't have the slightest idea why this would not be working, but I'm going to try and... Are we working now? No. Oh, here. Okay. Once I build my cart before I start making it, I'm going to do a small server reset because this is really, really good. I don't know what's going on. No. So, these are the components for the cart. This is really easy. It's simple. There's something else I want to make, which I'm going to make now, which is a cargo manager. Which is this nifty little thing. It's a bit trickier to make, but it's really easy. So, we need some, some iron ingots and some chest pans, which are already done. Chest planes are fairly easy to do, so I'm going to place them around here, so like this. And now we will need the iron. I hope this is enough. I really, really hope. If it's not, which it isn't probably. And I guess I have to make a bit more iron. I really have here some, so I'm going to. Cook up my iron here, and meanwhile continue producing. So, uh, for this we will need four of these. Yeah, I can. This is not enough. We also need a few of these and. As far as I can remember, we need some diamond planks which need that some is here, okay. which need this, we need all of these. But I think I have enough chest planks, if I don't I'll make them because they are really easy. Ah, now I have enough diamond planks. Okay, so <coughs> I'm going to need a few more. So, 
I believe these will be enough. So I need two more of the huge ones. So one, two. Yep. Now I need also two more, no, three more of these. One, two, three. Okay. Now I need at least two more of these. Like this. Yeah, that's the one in the middle. So this one and leave it here. Now I'm going to put this, so this one in the middle, leaving the corners. And already we have one private manager, but I need two because I want to be able to uh, take out cargo and put cargo, which I'll explain in a bit. So, okay. Home, so now for the the rest of the cargo of the Steve's cut, I'm going to grab the rest of the materials over here. Ooh. Weird chunk loading error. Well, I have given a lot of this stuff. This is for building my. Um, I'm going to do something about it, and I believe this is really important as well for the tracks. Well, for, for now, I'm just going to show you how to build the card. So, apart from the machines that we already have, there is something else you'll need, which is the card assembler. The card assembler is really easy to make. So, where are you? Card assembler, card assembler. This is really easy, you just need to do those simple PCBs with stone and iron ingots. It's quite simple. And once you click on it, you get you can see this this menu. It seems complicated, it's really simple. You just need to add a cart like this. And then you can add engines, tools, attachments, storage, add-ons, a lot of a lot of stuff really. So I'm going to add my Call my solar engine. I'm going to add my fertilizer, which is an attachment. I'm going to add, add my side chest, which is storage. And I need to make my advanced PCV for my farm. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab some settings which I have here. So, I need Eight seconds, they're not here. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I have a small tree, a small project that we here. Now, then you just have to press it like this. And I forgot to bring iron with me, which is always nice because I think I check you need something else. Check here it is. Yeah, I need one iron ingot. Okay. okay, let's see. I might have one upstairs. Also, I go. Well, I can make one here really quick. So, yeah, this one I have to show first. So, I need a few of once again. Now, for the iron ingots, no. No, but I have some problem which will do the job. Let me just check if I have one here. Yes, I have here one. So this is really simple, so I just have to make it this, this, and then one, two, three, four, five. And I have a wood cutter. Okay, nice. So now all I have to do is go back to my card assembler and to add this tool. And once I add it, I need to feed the card assembler with coal. So, this is also simple. So, now I have my wood cutter like this. This is ready. So, now if I need to assemble, well, it has no fuel and it tells me it's going to take 15 minutes. So, I'm going to add some charcoal. It's got full power now. And well, it's building. It will take me 15 minutes to build it, so uh, I'll be back once it's finished. See, 
and now after these 15 la long minutes we have our modular cart takes a bit of time but as you see it's standard hole with coal engine, solar engine, wood cutter, fertilizer and side chests now I'm not going to place it now for working I just want to show you my plans but I need to change a few things and I have some problems with my first cut so let me just go outside and show you around the next, the next thing that you need to build to make something like this and it really works really fine is a rail track something like this and one of the rail cards must be an, an advanced detector rail this is really simple to do it's iron uh, and w. there it is iron, redstone and pressure plates this is really simple you need one of these and write close to it the cargo manager and this is the setup that I have for my cargo manager so uh, this is the red side as you can see here so it's going to empty from the cart into the cargo manager and if I get any saplings here I'm going to send them inside well <clears throat> the only thing that I need and that's why I need that's why I made the extra cargo manager is a cargo manager to input coal so I'm going to put my cargo manager here so that it feeds coal to my to my cart now the thing is that I built this and this is right above my my chunk loader my chunk loader is somewhere below here so and what happened is that after two days of running and I already have I have three or four barrels full of wood I was really happy suddenly my cart disappeared uh, I don't know why it happened it was not a chunk loading issue I didn't start restart even restart my server so that's not the answer and from what I've read it could be a mob or maybe lightning maybe even the wisps this place is filled with wisps that attacked it and it spawned so my next plan before I start my 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 Steve Scott uh, tree farm, I'm going to make like a I don't know how you call it the greenhouse. I think it's a greenhouse around these trees. I already have a lot of plants, and I'm going to make a small structure. I still to me how to to decide how to make it look good. I'm going to use this this mountain as a natural wall. It will always be above the trees. I have a top floor only with glass, glass and this will be a only glass window full, full glass from top to bottom and I believe that that might solve my, my problems so this is my next plan I don't know if I'm going to make it on video because it's a bit boring to build but uh, at least once I have it built I'll, I'll, I'll put up a new video with my, my Steve Scott mine um, Thief Scat farm working and as you can see this is my extraction point so I have a redstone engine some pipes a diamond pipe which, which filters wood, apples and saplings and yeah, this was running pretty good I have to say more wood here some saplings this is empty more wood yeah and already had one, two, now three and a half barrels of wood plus these woods and saplings. So it's doing pretty fine. So this is my next step. Once I have all of this wood turning to uh, all of this wood coming out, I'm going to start probably making a sawmill and some low or high pressure boilers. And then I will start making well, I have a lot of plants. You'll see, I'll show them to you. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to post any comments and to su subscribe if you enjoyed it and well see you later thank you very much for watching bye bye